Now ignore the van, which is just a little bit dirty. Right, Ock, let's go, bud. From here, it does not even look like the van is wide anymore. You have to see, I swear it still is. That is what we've been dealing with. Well, Ocky and I didn't actually plan on spending the night here or even stopping for very long. However, if you look where we currently are, It's not only absolutely beautiful, it's more green than I think most people will ever see it because of the amount of rain they've had. But I also figure with the van being up on the top of this ridge here, it's a really good spot that I can safely go for a hike with Oki and we can always keep a line of sight with the van so we know where it is because, you know, I'm not that good at reading directions off the sun or anything. And with all the green, there is an abundance of wildlife out at the moment. So it's another good reason to keep Oki on the leash. He'll chase any kangaroos he sees, emus, potentially camels. And on top of that, we just don't know if there's any bait in the area, but I'm really hoping I can find some wildlife for you guys. How cool are these little plants that have just popped up everywhere? Well, that's a bit ominous. Whoa. And temperature wise here, it's beautiful at the moment. I'd say it's about 20 degrees. And really I've been surprised by how cold it's been, especially in the morning and overnight. But everyone, all the locals here are saying it's, it's been way colder than usual. Holy shit, I have just spotted quite a big snake. I'm pretty damn sure it's a python, so they're not venomous at all. They kill by strangulation, <laughs> which sounds worse than it is, but it's not a size that it could, uh, could kill us. However, I'm gonna keep my distance. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna tie Oki up to a nearby tree and get a little bit closer without him here. Stay, buddy. Oh, have a look at this monster. That would have to be as tall as I am. Wow. That is beautiful. Oh, he's well away. I cannot believe this is what I've found on my first proper hike.
Wow, guys, I still can't believe that. And um, that is such a firm reminder to me that I cannot have Oki off leash at all because I don't want to risk him coming across anything like that without me there. And it actually is coming this way. And I think that's our cue to go this way. And yep, that confirms it. The outback really is as wild as they say. Ooh. It's good to be home, Ock. What is this place? Get him, Ock. So now I'm back in reception, I've checked it out and like I thought it was a python, it's a black headed python and you know top right there is what they kind of like to eat. Well, this is bloody living Barry. I have to say after the last week of really joining the Grey Nomad army on the way out here, there was so many caravans everywhere I stayed. It's amazing to find some solitude, light a fire to celebrate my first night camping solo in the outback. And yeah, kind of just kick back and soak it all in. This place really blows my mind and it's exactly what I was hoping for. I really needed a bit of a reset before leaving on this trip. I was finding I was spending too much time on my phone and you know just not really in a good routine so part of my hopes for this journey is to kind of set a better routine again and i'm really focusing on that at the moment however today i've put in all the hard work it's time to just kick back and relax and enjoy it i'll see you in the morning Good morning. You like this spot, don't you?
definitely going to miss this spot. And so it begins. It rained again last night. And uh, Oki is definitely going to be tracking that around. Unfortunately, all this red dirt just turns to quite soft mud. So it's probably a good thing I'm getting out of here today because otherwise I might get stuck. Well, I'm definitely having a bit of a slow start to the day, partly because I don't really want to leave this place. This is coffee number two, and I'm just quickly, while I've still got internet, downloading a new Audible audiobook. I'm downloading 100 Years of Dirt by Rick Morton. This one I had recommended to me by a fellow traveller. The author, Rick, is actually from Western Queensland. He grew up on a huge cattle farm, and it's kind of apparently a really heartbreaking but amazing story. So. I'm looking forward to listening to that. As I said in my last video, I have huge distances to cover. I've already driven over 16 hours, over 1,500 kilometers, and Audible have been essential for helping me get through. It taps into my understanding that who you are is not what you say, but how you behave. I'm so stoked that they're sponsoring the video again. Thank you, Audible, for sponsoring this one. If you don't know what Audible is, it is the leading provider of spoken word entertainment all in one place. As an Audible member, you get one credit every month that's good for any title in their entire premium selection. As well as that, you get access to the popular Plus catalogue, which is filled with thousands and thousands of audiobooks, original entertainment, guided fitness, and ad-free podcasts. And the beauty of the Plus catalogue is it doesn't require credit, so you can absolutely go to town on that one, download as many as you want, and what I love about Audible, which is really great for these long drives where there's a lot of periods where there's no reception because I'm so far from anything, is that you can download each audiobook and listen to them offline. I also use it across multiple devices and it all syncs up using the Audible app. If you're interested in giving Audible a go and you haven't tried it before, Audible is offering a free trial to Max and Oki viewers. All you have to do is go to audible.com slash Oki or text Oki to 500-500. It is such a game changer for me. You won't regret it. And speaking of internet, I want to show you something. Now, for those of you that watched my last video, you'll have seen that I had installed both the Selfie Go system and the Coastal Connect, both to improve my internet reception pretty much exactly for places like this. And check this out. We've actually got three bars 4G. And remember, we're in pretty much the middle of nowhere at the moment. We're a long way from anything. Now, if I flick this switch, That'll turn off my self I go. And then let's see what happens to my reception bars. I've dropped down to one bar 4G. And now it's lost all reception. And so I'll flick the self I go back on. And it takes a second to kind of connect to your phone. Let's just see what happens here. Back to three bars, 4G. Bloody stoked with those results. Okay, we are about to hit the road to Bullia. However, there is one last thing I need to do. Don't mind me, Oki. <laughs> All right, as a lot of you that watched my last video know, I am participating in the push-up challenge in June, which is doing 3,139 push-ups over 24 days. And that number represents the amount of Australians that lost their lives to suicide in 2020. Now, I asked for your help and you guys really delivered. I wanna say a huge thank you to everyone that's donated or joined the team. We have over 70 members on the Max Inoki team and we've raised over $9,000. I'm absolutely blown away and yeah, these push-ups are for you guys. Oki's stretching and being part of it. It's not too late to donate. I'm gonna leave the link again in the bio. If you wanna donate and help out such a good cause, raising money for Lifeline, who is a mental health charity, <laughs> really appreciate it. Oh, okay, it's time to hit the road.
So I've just pulled over in the middle of the road, which I can do here because I can see as far as you can both directions. And I don't want to alarm you, but I've just seen camels. There are camels in this paddock. And a fact that a lot of you may not know or expect is that Australia actually has the largest population of wild camels in the world. They're not native, definitely. Oh my God. The camels are actually going towards my drone. It's your friend, guys. It's your friend. Oh, if I don't catch you now, I might not get enough. Okay, another quick detour. If any of you have seen the movie Goldstone with Jackie Weaver, David Wenham and Aaron Peterson, it was filmed here. They actually made this hut for the movie and it was meant to replicate, I think, a hut in early 1900s. Pretty cool. Unfortunately, it's been a bit vandalized. And one crazy thing is when I was looking at photos of this, deciding whether to come visit it, all the photos showed the fields around here were just dust, dirt and dust. And um, it's definitely not like that at the moment. I'm really excited to keep getting into central Australia because friends that are in Alice Springs at the moment just said all of Outback Australia is beautiful at the moment because of these rains. So I'm excited to take you with me. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that button. And um, yeah, we're gonna be seeing much more of Outback Australia. What do you reckon, buddy? Oh, buddy, your paws are so muddy. Uh, sit down. Okay, we've got the cover. Watch your head. That rain we had last night definitely cleaned the van off quite a bit. And looking at it actually reminds me that I didn't show you how it got muddy in the first place. <laughs> Can you believe it, buddy? For those of you that watched my last video, turns out it even rains in the desert at the moment. Well, I really didn't plan on coming up to a situation like this quite so quickly. I think so long as I hit it with speed, I'll be right. What do you reckon, buddy? Well, for people wondering why I want some off-road tires for this thing. Oh my, <laughs> have a look at that. Because it rained last night, the ground is actually really soft. And the van is covered. And you can see these tracks. These tracks are actually really deep. And I've already found that I'm kind of sliding a bit and I think I, I just talked to old mate You can see his car disappearing down there. He said for about the next three kilometers Just keep momentum, but obviously don't go too fast that you're gonna slide off the road um, Yeah, it's not a problem. I was expecting just yet with the muddy ground But yeah off-road tires would really be helpful right now So far the van's done really well. <laughs> We've gone through a lot of wet Okay, buddy Move over. Over. Okay, Hawk. Let's hope that stopping wasn't a really bad move here. Just gotta get that momentum.
Well, buddy, do you want to break it to him or do you want me to? Okay, guys, I've got some pretty devastating news for you all. We're gonna miss the bloody camel races by just over a month. What do you reckon, buddy? I swear these inland sunsets just hit a bit different. They are always so crisp and clear. It's been amazing experiencing them every night on this trip and I'm doing my best to experience most of the sunrises too. We are at another cracking camp spot. There's actually a river just behind there that we're allowed to swim in, Oki can swim in too. And so yeah, excited to get wet tomorrow, but we also have other big jobs on tomorrow. We need to do laundry, stock up on food and stock up on water because we made it to Bulia and here is the start of the Plenty Highway. The Plenty Highway runs from here in Queensland all the way through to Alice Springs in the Northern Territory. It says on Google Maps it's gonna take 17 hours to drive. It's all dirt road. And we plan on doing it slowly because there are articles online saying it is four wheel drive only. However, I've heard from a lot of people that if you take it slow and you know how to drive, you've got high clearance, you can make it in a van like this so that is going to be an epic journey in itself and that will be next video i'm going to leave this one here because i feel like there's been so much to cover i'm blown away by this start of the outback experience i hope you guys have enjoyed it give it a little thumbs up if you did enjoy it subscribe if you haven't already and oki and i will see you in the next one all right bye guys Shit, i almost forgot my push-ups i'm only up to 65 for today